Well, hello, my Taurus family. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me today. This is your weekly tarot card reading for October 30th through November 5th. Hope all of you are doing uh, well this week. And thank you so much to all my subscribers. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you enjoyed the reading, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. Keep in mind, Taurus, these are very general readings, so be sure to check out your sun, moon, and rising reading as one might resonate more than the other readings in any given week. So, all right, Taurus, let's see what the cards are revealing for you for the week ahead. What is coming through for Taurus for the upcoming week? All right, Taurus. Ooh, beautiful. Major Arcana card, the sun. The King of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, your um, overall energy is Temperance. A major arcana card. Something new coming in. Something new maybe you're integrating into your life. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's take a look at which crystal. Nope, that doesn't count. <laughs> Didn't have a firm grasp, but this one did want to fall out. Holy cow, malachite. Nature, the heart chakra. And I think last week, Taurus, it was about uh, get out, um, schedule more fun, if I remember correctly, and now you're getting the nature card. So have some fun outdoors. Uh, let's take a look and see what your oracle message is for the week. All right. Rejuvenating rain. Clear the past. Heal the present. Water. Okay. And my guides wanted me to pull out the spirit animal um, oracle deck. Um, let's see what message you get. It depends on which uh, spirit animal is coming out for you. So what's um, what does Taurus need for the week? There's a message hidden in whichever card you get. Ooh, elephant spirit, learn from the past. And this is saying clear the past. Um, maybe reflect on... Um, some lessons that you previously learned is what's coming through right away. Spend some time in nature. Let's uh, see what your tea leaf message is. Anything coming out? Anything wanting to shoot out? That doesn't count. I just literally dropped it. Okay, here we go. Wow, misunderstanding. Okay. Clear the past, heal the present. Some kind of misunderstanding, Taurus, that might resonate with some of you. All right. Uh, for those of you that are new to my channel, I do read intuitively. So give me a moment. I want to see if there's uh, any additional uh, messages coming through. All right. Well, Taurus, um, what I'm picking up Kind of a, a clear message that um, something that you've always done in the past is not conducive anymore to the present current times. There might be some kind of tradition that was always followed or performed and Taurus, this time you might be wanting to do something differently. So you do have quite a bit of uh, energy here, you know, with the Elephant Spirit card, learn from the past. This is certainly honoring, um, knowing the importance of, you know, traditions, things that have always been in place. There could be something that is no longer being done uh, just due to circumstances. And you might be thinking a lot from that. And that's why you're getting the rejuvenating rain to clear the past, to heal the present. There's something here where there's a divide. And 
with the uh, tea leaf message here, some kind of misunderstanding where it's it's a solid impasse. You just can't get to either side. You can't get through. So I feel for some Taurus individuals, there's a message here in regards to uh, maybe the upcoming holiday season where uh, maybe you're doing something differently or you really want to do something differently. And it's not doing away with the old traditions, but maybe creating some new traditions is what I'm picking up the most, the message that's coming in. So that's for um, some Taurus individuals. Someone needed to hear that message. And with the Malachite crystal, you know, follow your heart. What is it that you want to be doing, Taurus? Spend some time outdoors. Take a walk outdoors. Um, clear your head. Um, clear the past, as it says here, and then learn from the past is what it says here. Um, you might be able to come up with a compromise if you're doing something in a new way where something has always been done in um, a, a traditional manner. So I, I feel it's some kind of custom or tradition that maybe you're tweaking it, adding your own little spin on a Taurus. And... Um, that just needs to be explained um, in a more clear manner. You do have the King of Swords here. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Definitely um, I'm picking up um, the Queen of Pen Pentacles is kind of somewhat um, representing to me about getting back to the basics. But then the King of Swords with the mental energies here is about being practical, logical, about maybe um, the situation that you're in. And again, this is um, something that uh, how it was done in the past or something to do with the past that um, maybe is no longer available or being done. All right, let's talk about uh, the temperance card energy here. Uh, this is uh, the energy that's in the background this week. This is your overall energy. And it is producing some kind of change. And so with this change that's coming in, um, there might be some kind of misunderstanding that you're totally um, doing away with uh, maybe a, an old uh, tradition or custom. But I, I really strongly feel, Taurus, that... That is truly a misunderstanding because you're just wanting to create some new traditions. And the temperance card is about integrating something new. It is about um, trial and error. You're trying something out. I just feel you're, you're doing something differently. And that it might have something to do with the upcoming holiday season, making some plans. Um, maybe you always went to uh, a particular household for the holidays and maybe now something else is being done. And um, yeah, there's there's a, a misunderstanding here. This could also um, be in the workplace. There could be something that you're doing differently in the workplace that was always done in a particular manner. So that's kind of the message that I'm getting for the reading is that there's something that is um, maybe it can't be done in the same manner anymore. And the temperance card being in the background, you know, this week is about that trial and error. You know, what's working, what doesn't work? How can we tweak this? This is definitely integrating something new. It could be in the workplace. It could be in your business. It could be, uh, you know, the home within the family. And the thing about temperance, 14, it reduces to five. Uh, five is about shaking things up for more growth, personal gain. But the first step is the hardest with the five energy. So it is definitely an energy this week of shaking things up. There might be um, a new idea that you have. So you're learning from the past. You have to clear the past, heal the present, because there's some kind of misunderstanding with someone this week, whether it's in the workplace or within the family. But I do feel things will get rectified because King of Swords here is um, an energy of looking at things logically, rationally. 
coming to some kind of uh, agreement. And the, the Queen of Pentacles here is about gathering up your resources, getting back to the basics. So you've got a king and a queen here. Could be um, you and another person are possibly um, involved in trying to uh, rectify this misunderstanding of some sorts. Now, you do have the Major Arcana card, the Sun. Beautiful card in energy. It's certainly that if you are wanting to incorporate some kind of change, you're doing it with the best intentions in mind. And with the Sun cards, has your back on this, what you're um, possibly venturing into this week, Taurus. It's very positive um, energy to create more happiness, more love. And we have the 19 numerology with the sun card. That is 10. That is kind of um, uh, maybe uh, closing a chapter on something with the 10 energy. Maybe something that's run its course. Maybe something that can no longer be done. I know some of the traditions that I had when I was uh, in my childhood, there's some things that um, are no longer available per se, to continue that tradition. So I'm picking up something along those lines. So you're doing the next best thing. You're trying to come up with the next best thing. And again, workplace, within the family, I'm picking up a strong indication, Taurus. This is um, upcoming plans, and it could be the holiday that's coming up. So looking at it from a rational and logical standpoint, um, trying to... Um, gather up the resources, and um, also um, money could be involved with this, Taurus. Maybe not wanting to spend uh, the money that was previously spent in regards to how this is resonating for you. Kind of um, wanting to keep uh, your money um, in place. Just picking up, not wanting to spend as much. Or... Changing up what, um, you know, what's been done, whether it's in the workplace or whether it's your business or whether it's within the family, like getting together for some kind of uh, holiday or event. So definitely um, very strong temperance energy in the background this week where it's a trial and error. It's a lot of discussion, I feel, is going on. You're trying to come to a compromise uh, because there's this great divide here. So something, again, in the workplace, it could be within the family in regards to the holidays or some kind of an event or something coming up. Um, just wanting to, um, you know, I, I just pick up that there's something that, um, that can't be done in the same manner anymore. So the sun card's coming in, um, really coming up with a... Um, a grandiose idea, but um, it's not shared by all people involved. Okay. And uh, I just wanted to um, show, this is all things that are not so um, readily seen. It's kind of all behind the scenes. You have temperance wanting to integrate something new coming in this week. And the Knight of Pentacles, and he's facing looking at the past, also at temperance here. But um, the Knight of Pentacles is about planting seeds for the future. So I do feel uh, there is something that's coming in this week where it's not going to be done in the same manner. There's some new ideas, new opinions, um, and possibly it just simply can't be done the way it always has been done. So um, there's something new coming in. And uh, there's a lot of discussion this week is what I'm picking up. All right, Taurus, you'll get it worked out. Let's see what the uh, your final message from the Starlight deck is. Oop, this just fell out. Trust. The light in you cannot be dimmed. And I do feel you're possessing the sun's energy this week. So I kind of feel, Taurus, you're going to get your way 
The bull is going to get their way this week, whether it's in the workplace, whether it's in the family, whatever the case may be. Um, whatever you're trying to integrate or do this week, Taurus, the light in you cannot be dimmed. You're going to be successful. All right. Thank you so much, Taurus, for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, like the video, drop a comment. It all helps the channel grow. Visit my website if you uh, want a private reading. Love and abundance to my Taurus family.